Hi there, Chris Oddy of Marsden's Accountants here. Um, and today I'm basically discussing anyone who um, is planning on buying a new property, whether that be for your personal or for your um, business where you're trying to buy another property for your rental business. Um, so either one, one of them, generally, if you're going to have a mortgage, there's going to be some documents that your mortgage advisor is probably going to require from you. The most common ones that we find here is your tax year overview and your SA302 for the last two years. That's generally what we get asked for. Um, so obviously it's, it's good to be prepared, especially with how the market's working at the moment. Um, so you want to make sure that you have all of your information ready so that you can get started and get the mortgage rate that um, you discuss with your mortgage broker. But essentially, in order to have this information ready for you, you need to make sure that your accounts are up to date. So um, by doing that, you need to obviously have the previous years done. So if, it, if you're looking at it as the date is the 2nd of August today, 2023, um, if they require two years of SA302s, which is your tax calculation for the years from your tax return, um, and also your tax year overview, which will be your HMRC account showing that, that amount that you've paid um, is the correct amount that is due on your tax system. So basically it's just making sure that those two figures are correct. Um, so essentially, if you um, have done the previous tax return, so you've done your 2021, uh, sorry, your 2022 tax return in this case, um, but your 2023 tax return hasn't been prepared yet, you will not be able to get that information to them until your tax return is completed for 2023. So the best thing to do is obviously look forward in advance. And if you are planning on buying a property um, to make sure that you get all of your accounts information in first and get your accounts all completed else what may happen is you get to the, the planning stage and then once you've got everything in place your mortgage broker may need those documents and if you haven't got them ready it may then take even more time for the accounts to obviously be done and obviously depending on availability of your accountant or, or us if you use our services um, there may be even more of a delay and then it's causing a bit of a, a stop in your process of buying and just added stress which you won't require um, so we'd always recommend to make sure if you're planning of, or thinking of buying another property or anything, just to get your accounts information in as soon as possible. Um, and then, yeah, once once it's been completed and submitted, you'll have your SA302s so from once the tax return's been worked on and completed. Um, and then once it's been submitted, and after a few days, it can take up to 72 hours to show on HMRC system, your tax year overview will also be done. And then you'll have all the information required that uh, your mortgage advisor may require from us as your accountant. Um, but yeah, no, that's just something that we thought we'd let clients know. Um, um, yeah, if you have any questions about any other information or what information they would require, or if you're looking for an accountant to help with your tax situation, um, please give us a contact. You can email us on that in at marsons.co.uk um, and I'm sure we can give you a quote, whether that be for your property business or whether that be for your self-employed business, either one of them. Um, but yeah, if you have any queries, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Bye.